How can you know if you are truly saved? True salvation is by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And when we believe that Jesus Christ died on a cross 2,000 plus years ago, that he paid the penalty for our sins and he rose again the third day, then we are able to become saved through that. Now, what should follow uh, with those who have years left of their life uh, there should be a change because true conversion leads to change and true salvation leads to sanctification. We can't merely profess and say we believe without a transformation taking place so long as time is permitted. Again, we are saved solely by grace through faith. So if someone genuinely believes in what Christ did and, and genuinely repents and says, God, I know that I'm a sinner and I, I just I repent of all that I did in my past, and then five minutes later they die on their hospital bed, God will save that person. And we can clearly see this as what Christ had said to the thief on the cross. But where a lot of people get mistaken is they think just simply uttering it or giving a mental assent is good enough. But no, there must be a transformation uh, and a, uh, a walk of repentance. So how can we know we're saved? Well, first off, uh, we'll receive the Holy Spirit, and He is the seal um, for our salvation. He is the one that makes it very clear that we truly do know God, um, because a relationship with the Holy Spirit living within us verifies exactly that we are saved and we are now being changed, because when we do things that before we had no convictions of, and we would we would we partake in certain words, speech, mindset, actions, thoughts, motives that are contrary to God, now when we do those things and we truly have the Holy Spirit, we will be convicted by those things. So uh, we are saved only by grace through faith. True faith is repentant faith. It desires to turn from sin and turn towards God. Uh, and then also how can we be sure that we are in fact saved? We, the Holy Spirit will bear witness that we truly are saved. We'll have a change and a transformation of our desires and our nature. Um, we'll begin to desire the things of God and begin to despise and hate the things of the flesh and the world. It doesn't mean we're going to live perfectly, but it simply means that when we do those things, we're not going to get the same satisfaction and fulfillment. And we're going to be sorrowful when we do that, which is contrary to God and His Word. And so through that, we will also not only have the Holy Spirit to bear witness that we are truly saved, but we will be convicted by our sins. And that is how you can know that you are truly saved, by the Holy Spirit, through conviction of sin, and through a transformed lifestyle and a change in character that is seeking God and virtue rather than seeking the things of this world.